What's going on, with Tom Hendel with Mainline Overland. Today we're going to take a look at Airbnb's Jack and unbox it, check it out, and see how it works and maybe compares to some other uh, items on the market. So let's first open up this guy. It's an Airbnb Jack. Get out of the box, see what's inside here. Plastic piece. It's a longer item. Base. So the jack has a carrying cover and it has a instruction manual and it's got this plastic cover with a large base piece here. Coverage, very nice looking piece of kit. This is a, uh, looks like an, an aluminum, anodized aluminum extrusion with the base piece here. Cool. So it stands on its own, which is nice. Can't say that about a whole lot of mechanical jacks out there in the market. Cool. Got these nice little coverage pieces. So first thing we can see right at the back. Is we've got an aluminum housing. It's got these little detents here. Um, we have a jack handle holder that looks like it doubles as a body protection. So you push, put this piece against the uh, area that you're jacking up. That's going to give you some rubberized uh, sort of bump stop protection and stand off. This guy, come, this guy sits into here and looks like these little teeth would bring us up high enough. We'll hold your jack handle in to retain it so that when you put it in the bag and things like that, it'll fit. This piece comes up and then comes down to create the, uh, the jack base piece. Um, main pieces that I can determine, uh, it has, it's a hydraulic setup, so this has a hydraulic, uh, hydraulic oil inside. Um, we have the handle that raises and lowers, and we have a uh, a release device that has two stages to it. One uh, minor stage and then one deeper stage for low end quick load. Um, this looks like it articulates a bit. You can use this to raise and lower the base height for the jack. You can see I can lock that out and then I can use this little piece here. It's almost like you'd have on your bicycle to hold this steady. Um, looks like you could probably twist this a little tighter if you wanted to have a firmer hold. Take it down a bit, and then close. Then I'd, I'd use my jack uh, standoff protection to help out there. Um, so this will give you your initial height on where you're going. Good, that gives it a nice secure little bit. Um, so we got this, we have our 2016 Tacoma here. We have an A or B. Uh, bumper on it. The Airb has two high lift jack mounting sites located here. Obviously, this jack is designed for this for this base. So we're going to try try this jack out. Um, we're going to find these locations and then raise our jack base so that it will fit inside that location or nearly so. This is a four and a half foot jack, so it will raise um, from its 35 inch base height up to 56 inches. So a little lower. By articulating this, this piece here, this is what allows you to lower or raise it. Very similar to a high lift, but without some of the complications of mechanical um, situations of a high lift. So made to be simple, the hydraulic motion eliminates a lot of the mechanical sort of danger of the jack. 
So I'm gonna just start pumping it up a little bit and feel the hydraulics lifting it up. I'm gonna get it adjusted in place and then I'm gonna put my rubber piece in here. Just gonna finally adjust it and bring it as deep as I can while allowing for enough standoff so that as I lift, I don't contact the jack. Stick my rubber all the way up against the, the bump stop here. Cool, I'm on flat ground, so I'm on a fairly good surface with my concrete floor here. If you had a surface that was muddy, deep, um, rutted out, and you needed a base surface, this jack base is really good for that. It has a, very, it has a fairly smooth bottom, so if you're on something like a rock or something, um, you, know, you want to you create a, a, a smooth base. So we're going to start giving it a little bit of hydraulic lift. We've got our bumper up against it. We've got our hands free of the area that's jacking because, again, it's putting a lot of weight of the vehicle against it. So we can see that guy coming up the inside of our jack base. The load limit on this guy is 4,400 pounds. So you can see we're getting some lift out of our wheels. Still have a wheel on the ground. It's important to make sure your car is in gear. You have your e-brake on so that you are. All right, we have some lift on this guy, so this guy's off the ground. Clearly, you want to make sure you have a safe working environment. Nobody under the vehicle when you're jacking. The nice thing about this Airb jack that I can see in comparison to the high lift is how easy it is to jack. You don't have to worry about the jack handle where, you, where you're placing your head um, in relation to the, to the jack. You know, the handle can sit in any position, which is really convenient and safe. And I don't have to worry about getting my hand in between here um, and having it whip on me. You do have to be careful how tight this becomes. You don't want to pinch your hand in between this. This would only just be the leverage of your handle but they can get in there and give you a pinch. So, jack, vehicle is jacked up. You can see the jack has a pivoting foot so that as you lift, clearly the vehicle is gonna be turning on an axis and the pivot point allows it to pivot without kicking out the bottom of the jack. So that's a really nice function of it. Um, let's say I'm gonna lower this. I've got my wheel on or off and I've got my change. Um, we, have this red, we have this red lever here, it's super simple. Um, it's very intuitive. I have not read the directions, but I'm, but I'm just learning about it as I go. So I can see that I can make quick adjustments to this. Maybe if I want to just put the, the, the lugs of the tire in contact so I can tighten down the, tighten down the wheel before I, I torque. And then if I wanted to quickly descend and get, get out of dodge, I can lower it really quickly and get that completely out. This does take a little bit of effort um, to lower. You have to put some body behind it because of the hydraulic motion to get it low enough that you can pull it out. But that didn't take much effort at all. I've got it out and I can lower this guy down and put it in the away position. So high lift, or this is an ARB jack, um, a, a simpler um, design uh, that uses hydraulic motion as opposed to the mechanical high lift jack. Um, definitely a bit smaller. We have a five foot high lift extreme here. So this guy goes up to five feet. This guy goes up to four and a half feet. Um, uses a hydraulic motion, this uses a mechanical motion. Um, one of these guys can get pretty tall, but also obviously has a lot of, requires a lot of space um, in your vehicle. So, so high lift jack versus, uh, high lift extreme five footer versus four and a half foot ARV jack. Definitely for simplicity, being able to throw it in a bag in your, in your car, um, not having to, to put a piece of steel outside your vehicle on a roof rack or something. This is a pretty nice, pretty nice setup. So uh, check it out on our online store, the ARB Jack, uh, available on MainlineOverland.com. Give us a call at 844-656-7626 or sales at MainlineOverland.com. Thanks. So one nice feature of the ARB Jack is that it has the ability to, to unseat the bead on, on a tire. And it has a swiveling base here, which is quite nice. So we're going to use that. We're going to pop this over onto a tire that we want to remove, that we want to take the bead off the tire. Maybe it has mud or junk in it. I'm going to use my jack, get it up into that recovery point. 
I do not have it under pressure yet, so I can kind of have my hand in there a little bit. And then I'm going to bring my piece in so that it's standing off. And then I'm going to walk this in with my leg to make sure this is staying steady. So now that I've got it under pressure, I'm keeping my hands out of that area, just using the handle. And you can see that I'm taking that bead off of the bead seat, I'm getting the ability to take out mud or junk or whatever's in there and be able to reseat that bead 